I will begin by checking my patient's orders. The patient must have an order to remove the Foley catheter. Then I will gather my supplies. I need to have an absorbent pad to place under my patient for removal. This is a graduated cylinder that I will use to empty the urine from my drainage bag and measure it before I remove the Foley catheter from my patient. If I have a male patient, I want to give my patient the urinal so that he can use this to measure his urine after the catheter is removed. For female patients, this is a hat. It has measurements on the inside. It goes inside the toilet or the bedside commode. It is placed in the toilet or the commode like that. A 10 ml syringe to deflate the balloon on my Foley catheter before removing it. I will first enter my patient's room. I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to check her identification bracelet and ask her to state her name and date of birth. Mrs. Doolittle, um, today we're going to go ahead and take your catheter out. You're going to be going home tomorrow and your surgeon would like to be able to see if you can void on your own. You may feel a little bit of pressure when we do that we'll get it out very quickly. Now I will provide privacy for my patient. I'm going to empty my drainage bag. I'm going to put on my gloves. And with my graduated cylinder, I will open the valve and measure the urine. Now I will close the valve on my drainage device. I want to note the amount. It is 700 mLs. I'm also noting um, the odor. There is no odor. The color. Um, it is clear without any sediment. And I will document this in my nurse's notes. I'm going to put the bed up. I'm going to just pull your covers down a little bit. I'm going to place a blue absorbent pad under my patient just to catch any drips of urine. I'm going to remove my Velcro leg strap and dispose in the trash. I'm now going to deflate the balloon on my Foley catheter. I have my 10 ml syringe. I will attach it to the balloon port of my catheter. With my other hand, I will securely hold my catheter so that when I deflate the balloon, the catheter does not pop out and splatter urine. With a twisting motion, I attached my syringe and it is filling with the sterile water. Once, once it has reached the 10 ml mark, I will remove my syringe, squirt a little bit of the water into the trash, then I will reattach my syringe to the port and try to remove any remaining sterile water that is in the balloon. This will ensure that my balloon is completely deflated before I attempt to remove my catheter. Mrs. Doolittle, I'm going to go ahead and remove your catheter. You can just take some slow deep breaths. You may feel a little pressure and we'll be done in just a moment. And I will place it on my absorbent pad and wrap it up. Now I will dispose of my catheter in the trash. I would be able to provide perineal care to my patient or path dry with a towel. Now I will dispose of my gloves. I will cover my patient and place my patient in a position of comfort. and lower the bed to the lowest position. Then I will wash my hands. This is the information that you need to document. On the nurse's notes in the INO record, you must document the amount of urine and the time that the Foley catheter was removed. Your patient must void within eight hours of removal of the catheter. Let your patient know that they need to use a hat or a urinal to measure their urine
for their first void and that they need to let their nurse know so that we can verify that she can void on her own.